Hey guys, my name is Khaled and welcome back to another video. So let's get straight on with the point. You've bought yourself a brand new iPad, even if it's the base model, the 12.9 inch will cost you around £1,000. And that is a lot of money and it will only climb if you go for a different storage option. And you're like, hang on a minute, I need to put a screen protector on that, potentially a case, a keyboard and an Apple Pencil. So that can be a lot of money, you know, because a Magic Keyboard for the latest generation will cost you £329. And if you don't want the trackpad, then you can go for the Smart Folio case, but that will still set you back £200, regardless of any other accessories. So in this video, I'm going to be showcasing three different products. First being the Zag Slimbook Go. Secondly, JetTech Screen Protector. And finally, we have the Apple Pencil second generation. And this will set you back less than £150 in the UK, which is quite good considering the smart keyboard folio is £200 for the 12.9 inch. All right, so let's start the video off with the Zag Slimbook Go. So a pretty nice case actually, well presented, and this only cost £37.49. The prices may be slightly different. I got it directly from Zag, but in Amazon, I believe it is slightly more. Okay, slim. Lightweight, comes in two different parts, so you've got the keyboard portion which connects via Bluetooth and then you've got the portion where the screen is housed in along with the Apple Pencil. When you open the box, the first thing you will see is the keyboard section, but let's quickly move to the left and see what's included. So getting things done doesn't just happen between 9 to 5, gives you a slight description of what it's about. You can see it detaches, so you've got the keyboard portion and you've got the part where the screen sort of houses into to provide it some protection. Let's go ahead and start taking out out the keyboard the keyboard portion of the zag book feels extremely well made when you hold it in your hand for the first time it does feel pretty premium and the build quality is great you wouldn't actually think this costs sub 40 pounds so we've got the zag branding on the bottom right and then we have the tablet protective case which will protect your tablet and also act as a stand when you connect the detachable keyboard i'll talk about that slightly later on but let's quickly see what else is included so we got a quick start guide by zag pretty simple to set up but if you want to have a look then feel free to do so going back onto the keyboard now it looks pretty neat right you've got all the buttons you need it's a qwerty style keyboard you've got option of two bluetooth devices you've got the lock button you can open up multitask mode internet media keys and the magnets for the keyboard is pretty darn strong you know obviously if you don't swing it like a madman then it will come off but apart from that, it looks pretty neat. And I'm, I know I keep on blabbering on about the price, but look at that. That doesn't look like it's less than £40, right? And now we move on to the tempered glass screen protector by Jet Tech. You get one screen protector, you get a beautiful guide on how to set it up. But yeah, I tried to follow the guide for the purpose of this video. I set it up wrong because I don't read instructions. So I thought, you know what? I'm a pro. I read instructions wrong. Let's just freehand it. Word of advice, don't try that at home. Just follow the instructions, especially if you're new, because you will get that good finish without that many bubbles. I mean, I didn't do a bad job. You know, clean the screen first, take off the dust, and then you shouldn't have many air bubbles. And then you can use the squidgy card to air it all out. And then when that's done, you just put it into the case by Zag. Now, it's quite hard to put it into the case, actually. It does require quite a bit of force. But once it's in, it hardly comes out because look, I'm shaking it about like a madman. And it's absolutely fine. We have an exposed port for where the USB-C charging cable goes in. It does look slightly off-centered, but it fits in fine, no problem. And then we also got a holder for the Apple Pencil. Talking about the Apple Pencil, let's quickly move on to that. So this was purchased for £99, I believe, but the price does fluctuate slightly higher, slightly lower sometimes. But what I paid for was £99, okay? So you can see it easily fits in. So when you're creating your own masterpiece, such as the Mona Lisa, Starry Night, or The Last Supper, you know, you can put the pencil back into its holder, show it to the world, show it to your family, and they're like, yeah, I definitely didn't trace that on one of the apps. All right, you also got the magnetic strip exposed so that can charge the um, Apple Pencil. And then finally, let's have a look at the back of the Zag case. So we've got the cutout for the camera system. We've also got the power button over there and then the volume button as well. Now there's two options. You do have a tablet mode, but then on the back you have a stand that flips out and then that's how you'll connect your keyboard to it as well. So you can use it in a laptop style format. Now at first I thought, hang on a minute, this actually involves quite a lot of force to take out and I thought it might break at one point. But once it's fully angled correctly and have it to the angle with you desire, it does feel quite good and it doesn't move around at all. Keyboard is very easy to pair up, 
power button, Bluetooth option, Pixel up as Zag, Slimbook Go, and then you're connected and ready to use. In terms of how the keyboard feels and sounds, I think it sounds pretty great. It feels really good as well. The keyboard has nice travel to it. It's well spaced out and extremely comfortable to type on. So if you're, for example, taking notes whilst at uni, using the Apple Pencil, your hand gets a bit tired, you can put this Bluetooth keyboard on and then type for countless amount of hours. Obviously take your break because you don't want to get RSI or anything like that. It doesn't have a trackpad, which is quite disappointing, but if you look at the price point, that's a given. Plus, if you really want that laptop feel, you can always get a Bluetooth mouse that will cost you about £20 and have the whole laptop-like experience. You can select from seven backlight key colours and also change the brightness to suit your needs. Now, let's actually quickly go back onto the keyboard itself. Just to add to the typing experience, I think it feels quite natural. I previously mentioned there's a good amount of travel. It's well spaced out. And you also have a few meter keys at the top, so you can forward, pause, um, rewind, you've got your mute button, power on and off, volume up and down, you can switch between different apps, you can lock the tablet as well and it just feels very very good. On the top part you can see we've got access to put your Apple Pencil, we can charge it, that part's exposed as well, you'll say how much charge you have when you take it out and then you can quickly slide it onto the bottom to keep it more secure and if we quickly look at the bottom you can see there is a indent on the keyboard portion as well so when you close your case the pencil will fit in snugly and there won't be any bulge. Just make sure the back stand lies down flat as well and if we have a quick look at the case now the front it does feel very nice quite premium as well almost like a, a I can't, don't know how to explain it but it's a fabric like finish and on the back you obviously got the plastic as well and it just looks quite well made on the back as mentioned we've got the cutout for the camera we've got the stand that flips in quite nicely as well and it doesn't rock on the table which i'll show you slightly later on we've got the exposed magnetic strip there where you can charge the apple pencil and then on the right hand side we've got the volume button and the power button as well and they are a bit hard to press but after a couple of hours you do get used to it but it's not as easy as without a case in terms of the rocking so you can see i've got the flap fully flush and it doesn't rock that much now this is what a lot of people will be using the ipad for in tablet mode a lot of people will get it who are creative artists or who like to doodle or who like to write down notes and in all honesty i think this is quite a great piece of kit okay you've got the option of using it in a tablet mode with the protective case and to use it in a laptop mode bundle that with a screen protector and an apple pencil second generation for less than 150 pounds and i think you're onto a winner let me know what you thought of my choices in the comment section below obviously a apple magic keyboard is fantastic but you're going to spend more than double what you spent here and you're getting pretty much everything all right guys if you want more content like this do hit the like button subscribe if you want to and then i'll see you in the next one peace and stay safe